What's up YouTube? This is Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. Coming to you live from Phoenix, Arizona on this Thursday, June 29th, 2017. And I uh, wanted to do a little bit of PvP action and talk about some of the new changes in the Soul Gem season coming up. Uh, patches that they're putting on to the Spider-Man characters in the game. So, um, this is uh, PvP, the Nefarious Foes event. And um, these guys, Dakin and uh, Thanos, three star, are powered up. Patch is not, he's a little bit lower level, but he's got that awesome healing ability. And uh, so this team together actually works really well for PvP events uh, because of that. And Court Death deals damage to allies, but these two heal at an insane rate. So I have Dakin set at a 5-5-3, five, three, uh, five, five, three, excuse me, uh, for the maximum healing there, as well as Patch. Have it a 5-3-5. And then Thanos is a 5-3-5 as well. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for stopping by, joining us here today. If you're a regular, welcome back. As always, every like, share, and subscribe is appreciated if you guys enjoy the content of this video. And helps me to uh, grow this channel and reach other questers just like you said. So what we're going to do is put a little bubble here in the middle. <clears throat> Look for the weakest enemy, which is always Storm. I don't know who goes into this event with Storm as one of your primary characters. Um, but basically, we're going to take her out first and then just wreck the rest of the board. So let's do this. All right, get a little bit of heal action there. Down she goes. And boom. So it's like three move win, very simple, lots of points, get some rewards, get some ISO, earn those higher rank rewards as well. We'll go over here. So these are uh, level 51 bullseye, 21, 17, uh, really minimal uh, HP comparatively to these other guys. Uh, looks like Iron Man is the weak one here, so we're going to target him first. For the double color match, but it does up them for a match five, that's okay. <clears throat> All right, get some healing, get some healing, perfect. And then by the time we actually take him down, they've healed up a little bit more, so it helps offset that court death damage. Very nice. I just wanted to show this off for a couple rounds. Uh, we might do a few more here, depending on what we come up against. And the one thing that I do like with this uh, DU recorder, which I'm using today, is it doesn't kick me out when I get to these other uh, screens like this, where I would normally... Uh, lose recording in game tools, which I made a video about uh, yesterday and posted the difference between DU and game tools. Um, so there are, like I said, pros and cons to each, and I certainly am, you know, using this one today for a very specific reason because of that. Ooh, five star Thanos, 340, 216. All right, let's try this one because Doctor Strange's ability does not fire on passives. So we're going to take him out first. Uh, Alright, so this one we're actually going to have to fight for. Not going to be an easy win, but we can certainly make it work. Uh, this here. So that is one trick against Doctor Strange is that his ability does not fire if your character's abilities are passive. So these Pheromone Rage, Healing, um, Court Death, all these are passive abilities, but they don't trigger his Flames of Fault Team, his yellow ability, which actually deals damage and heals his team uh, if uh, an enemy uses an ability. So if you can stack your team with passives that deal damage, um, like Iron Fist or you know these guys here uh, it actually works quite well 
to keep that Flames of Faltine from going off. These guys are just healing up from all the damage of the previous rounds without having to use any health packs, so you're conserving resources. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, yellow. So he's stealing green with the Gamma Siphon, but, you know, we weren't, didn't have much to steal. He's probably going to use his uh, clap ability here. He needs, uh, I think he needs nine, so I'm not sure why he's not using it. Hammer and Anvil. Uh, he's probably waiting to get more AP, or he's probably going to use it on the next turn. So it's 3263 to the team. Uh, I think we can survive that. So we'll just keep cruising here. Double match, black and purple. So now we're free to use active abilities without the fear of uh, retaliation with that Flames of Fall team. I was pretty sure Court Death stunned, but maybe that's just the five star version, so that's right. Okay, so he did take that seeing uh, red. Passive damage, created that stun, or not stun, but the uh, cascade action. Alright, so now let's use, uh, we'll keep going here. So there's that team damage. I'm surprised he didn't go for the purple there, but that's okay, because I can take it now. A little bit of damage, but then Wolverine heals. As does Dakin, very nice. Alright, double match here. More strike tiles. <clears throat> All right, so now let's see. We have almost enough to use this twice. Probably hold off a little bit longer on it. Okay, and then we're gonna have to sacrifice matching these three red uh, strike tiles so that Doctor Octopus does not use his. Passive. Okay. Right. So let's use this one here. Move my little bubble. So now he deals extra damage, uh, 175 match damage, which is outstanding. Plus all these strike tiles. Adds up very quickly. And let's do this. So we get a little bit of retaliation damage, but not much. Luckily, that only creates two tiles if... And there is that one downside to using this uh, DE recorder is that it actually does stop recording randomly on its own. Um, that if you're having uh, friendly tiles matched by Dr. Octopus, it only creates two of these attack tiles if you match enemy special tiles, not per number of special tiles matched. So even though there was multiple strike tiles matched in that attack there, still only created two of them, which deal 109 damage each per turn, so we can easily get rid of this one here. And I need to wait for Thanos to be unstunned for his court death ability, 
to fire. So even though I could take out Red Hulk with the uh, Dakin's blue ability, I'm waiting for it to be more effective. Okay, now he is unstunned. And we have still not made any extra blue matches here, which is interesting. We go for this. <clears throat> strike tiles, oh wait, uh, oh no, that's not those, yeah, these ones, so we'll take him out first, and then that'll be court death for the rest, bada bing bada boom, so at this point I would probably switch out, um, Patch and Dak and try a new team, uh, we'll take these points here, rewards, alright, who else is on deck? Yeah, 294 5 star Thanos. Uh, only with court death, though. Only one ability. Uh, Scarlet Witch and Magneto. Uh, Magneto and Iron Man. And. Doctor Doom, Magneto, and Doctor Octopus. For 22 points. I like to go for the most points possible. So I'm actually going to do this one. I'm going to keep Thanos. I'll heal him. We'll go with. Uh, Bullseye. Uh, Dr. Octopus. Uh, let's see, they're all purple, green, black, purple, green, black, black, green, blue, no red, no yellow. Um, let's see, what are his passive? I think this is black is passive. Thanos black is passive. Alright, <clears throat> could be a good match. Let's do Doctor Doom instead, who is a black, purple, and blue. And this one, yeah, we'll do Magneto. Um, he's only seven minutes from full heal, so I will fight with him as is. Got all the colors covered in the battle spectrum. And let's see, just making sure we're still recording here. I would have been upset otherwise. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Let's go ahead with purple right off the bat here. And we're going to switch over for Scarlet Witch because she can be a real nuisance. Okay, they got lucky with some cascade action there. <clears throat> nice thing about this combination is Dr. Doom has an active black while Thanos has a passive black. And pairing your abilities in that way uh, does help to make the most of what options you have if there are overlaps in your color of abilities. So having two active blues, for example, you know, Dr. Doom and Magneto, you just need to pick which one is going to be the better fit for your playstyle. Um, but if you can pair an active color and a passive color together, that does seem to work really well. So uh, I'm going to leave those blues just for the next arcane incantation that pops up. 
and take this green. Oh, that didn't work out. <clears throat> but this did. So we'll take the circle match there. Bonus thing everywhere. Um, let's go with this way for the next crit. And then take blue here. Keep those purple trap tiles a little bit safer. All right, now we have magnetized projectiles deals 1044 times seven, that's 7,000 in damage. So we're gonna make the most of that by attacking this magneto. And then we'll go back to Scarlet Witch. <clears throat> Get rid of that countdown tile. Almost have enough to use Doctor Doom's purple. But not quite yet. <clears throat> okay, there's not a lot of these team up tiles, so I'm holding off on red for the moment until there are more on the board. I think, uh, let's go with, yeah, yellow. Okay. And then uh, we'll do this. Uh, we'll do the extra match damage. We're gonna put it up here so it's away from the countdown timer. We're gonna do this. Team damage. Magneto is stunned. <clears throat> We're going to go with some matches here. <clears throat> nice getting rid of some of those uh, protectiles. Alright, they know still doing extra damage per match, so that's going to get rid of Scarlet Witch. set up a safe place for that green come get me tile which we've just done here so even though this is a random spot there are no easily matched greens for the next couple rounds so we're going to try to keep that protect uh, protected and here we go with maybe some uh yeah we'll do this for the purple could have matched away my countdown tile, but he didn't, so thanks AI for not being super intelligent. And that was minimal damage, but he did get two crits in a row. Alright, he's about to go down. Let's do uh, this first for added damage. To Thanos, so that the court death can take them both out together. Uh, only three tiles there. Go ahead and do this one. And then... Let's see. Court death is... 58 damage. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and use this. That should put him below the mark. Which it does. Take him out. With this. Match four. And then... Court Death takes out Thanos. So there's another great use of powered up characters in the PvP event. We get some extra ISO, take those extra points all the way up to at least 200, get that reward there, another one star. And we're within uh, the top 100 so far, we're at 68. So I'm going to play this a little bit more on my own, but wanted to share that with you guys. The other thing that I wanted to share, since we're done with that, is the updates to the Spider-Man characters in Soul Gym. Uh, this is, as of uh, the 27th, was two days ago, this was updated. The new season starts tomorrow, I believe. 
because these characters have not uh, uh, as of Thursday 629 so it's today uh, actually I looked at my spider-man and it hadn't been updated yet so either my game hasn't updated or uh, this is going to take place later on but Sandman, Flint Marco, and Gwynpool are going to be uh, swapped out, or Sandman is going to be swapped into packs, and Gwynpool is going to be swapped out. Uh, and then the characters that are going to be updated are Spider-Man, the three-star classic version, and the Venom, Eddie Brock, four-star version. So we're going to go over these abilities, what that means. So Spider-Man, the yellow ability, which was used to be his web bandages, was a team healing ability based on how many web tiles were on the board, uh, now deals damage. If both Spider-Man's allies are downed, this deals even more damage. At power levels 4 and 5, only requires one of Spider-Man's allies to be downed to increase the damage output. So this is similar to uh, Max Punisher's Army of One ability, uh, where if he's the last one standing, he just does a ton more damage. Uh, the only thing I don't like about abilities like this is that you don't want to require yourself to get into a situation where an ally is downed in order to use this ability. Um, you want to be able to deal damage kind of throughout the session and throughout the fight instead of having to wait till somebody dies because hopefully you're staying alive long enough where you're taking them out before they take you out. Um, that's not always the case and it's not always a perfect world, but that is ideal. So. That being said, um, at level 249, which is uh, maxed out uh, for this level ability here, it's going to deal 7,753 damage, and if there's one downed ally, it's actually going to deal 14,321, which is a crazy amount of damage. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, all tied up for uh, 5 blue AP, it's the same ability, um, going to stun and create web tiles. And then spider sense purple is uh, no functional changes. Power now displays the strength of the projectiles that are created. And that's part of the recent patch as well where they're starting to combine uh, damage and protect and blah, blah, blah numbers. Um, if it's this plus this, if that, it's supposed to update it in the panel where the ability is displayed. So at level five, this one creates, if there are less than four projectiles, is going to create a strength 145 protectile and an additional 41 strength per web tile uh, up to a max of 3 <clears throat> so you can get a bonus of 123 on top of that so it's 268 uh, protectile up to 4 on the board that's over a thousand in protect if they're all active and all full strength which can be um, very helpful in a fight to reduce each move or each ability by over a thousand points that's huge uh, Venom Eddie Brock, his symbiotic fury for 13 green AP is going to deal more damage than it did in the past. And this is going to deal at, uh, we'll just go for the level 5 maxed out, like what you could potentially get with this, 8,402 damage at level 366. Um, <clears throat> at level 270, which is his max level normal, um, not championed, is going to be uh, 4201. Uh, so huge as that ability goes up, you know, obviously the damage is going to increase per level. Uh, give and take uh, is a black passive ability he has. And this one is going to be able to reduce the strength of enemy protectiles to one. Matches made by Venom deal up to 75% more damage, uh, which is a new portion of the ability. Um, but enemy red, blue, and then purple at levels one through three, which means at level four and five, those purple matches don't count against you. Are going to deal increased damage to Venom. So red, blue, and purple are the colors that Eddie Brock does not have on his uh, in his wheelhouse. He is a red, or I'm sorry, a black, yellow, and green uh, AP colored uh, uh, character. So these are all his anti colors, so to speak, uh, and that's why they are going to deal extra damage against him. So uh, at max level, level five, it's going to reduce. Instead of by a percentage, it's just going to be to 1. Um, plus, deal 75% more damage as opposed to level 4, where you can see it shows it at 60% damage. Um, and red and blue deal 25% more. At level 5, that drops to only 20% more. So you're um, reducing how much extra damage it does, but it does give that ability. So... 
be careful who you put out front. Um, if he's making matches um, and he's low on health, you know, that can uh, take him out of the fight. So you got to be really strategic in uh, who's in front and who's taking damage when this ability is active. Lethal Protector is his yellow ability for 9 AP cost. And this one deals an additional damage now for each enemy Protectile. Uh, the power has a passive component that creates protect tiles for the enemy when enough damage is dealt, which actually I was surprised it's kind of minimal uh, amount of damage. At max level is only uh, 901 damage to the enemy. This is at level 366. Um, 451 at level 270. So lots of abilities and matches if you get a critical or, excuse me, a match 4 even with um, some strike tiles on the board can generate more than uh, 451 damage, so you're going to be creating a lot of these protectiles. The bonus to that is that for his Symbiotic Fury is going to deal uh, or require <clears throat> less AP to, uh, or I'm sorry, yeah, requires less AP if there are enemy special tiles on the board, uh, I believe, unless they change that. Uh, no, it destroys a random tile for each enemy special on the board, not generating AP. So maybe that is one that got changed. Uh, let me just read this quickly. Uh, yeah, I think that is different. So um, we're going to go back into the game, and we're going to look at the roster and see how those are different just right in a second here. Um, the other Spider-Man characters are not affected, so Carnage has no changes this time around. Uh Spider Gwen, Miles Morales, two star, uh, you know, bat was it Bagman, which hardly nobody has or should have. Um, if they made any changes to a character, they should have changed Bagman uh, when they brought him back. And that's just me because his abilities are still awful. He could use a revamp more so than these other characters. Um, that's my personal opinion. Maybe it doesn't mean much, but that's what I think. So let's go back to Puzzle Quest. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go to the roster. Ooh, got a command point. Thanks, Alliance. You guys are awesome. Uh, all right, roster. Four star. Eddie Brock Venom. Eddie Brock Venom. There we go. <clears throat> so, yeah. So this one, uh, Symbiotic Fury. This is the current... Uh, status that I said it hasn't changed yet where it does cost one AP less for each enemy special tile on the board it didn't say that in the updated version so I'm wondering if it's just gonna be pure cost of 13 and the benefit to that or the bonus is actually increased damage overall uh, give and take oh wait that one does say reduced to one so maybe this is the new yeah looks like it is the new new version so maybe it did update after all um, that green does cost one AP less than for each special tile on the board, so I was correct in stating in stating that this is going to uh, mm -hmm. also cost less for, uh, or it's going to help his yellow ability is going to help his green uh, get that extra AP cost out. So um, instead of 13, it can be down to a minimum of seven, which means you can use practically twice for the same cost. Um, and this Venom does show he is part of the Sinister Six combo as well. So interesting to see what uh, abilities come out that require affiliations with Sinister Six uh, because we know that these uh, are not here just for nothing. They have a purpose and they usually have at least one or two characters with an ability that is pertinent to that. So interesting to see there. We'll go to the three stars and Spider-Man is going to be back here. The low 200s. Alright, so he's at a 535 build for me. I could level him up a little bit. I have a cover or two. Um, so this deals 7093 damage or 13104 if uh, there's one downed enemy. So that actually does uh, help quite a bit. Although I did like the team heal ability with Spider Man, that is the reason that I use him the most. Um, converting uh, web tiles. Uh, this would also stun. Um, this also helps if you're using somebody like Spider Gwen or Miles Morales uh, alongside who require those web tiles to power up their abilities as well. Uh, Spider Sense, uh, creating uh, up to four friendly purple protect tiles. 
uh, with strength based on how many web tiles are on the board. So, all right. So thanks guys for watching. This has been a short little, well, not so short, I guess, um, mishmash of PvP gameplay, team up combos for the Nefarious Foes event, and updates for the Soul Gym, which take effect as of today for the classic three star Spider Man and Eddie Brock four star Venom. You guys have been great. I've been Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. And for this video, if you give it a quick thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click the little bell next to the notification tab if you haven't done so already as well. Get instant notifications when videos like this do get posted onto YouTube. You can follow me on Twitter at Mr. MPQ for more Marvel Puzzle Quest updates and news as it breaks. And until next time, as always, keep on questing and I'll see you in the next video. I will be doing a four star champion maybe later today. Uh, depends on how my schedule goes. I'm off today as it's Thursday, but I have uh, a tattoo appointment later. So I'm going to be a little bit busy this afternoon. Uh, we'll see what time I get home and, and how much time I have uh, before uh, my wife gets back from work. So yeah, fun times. Stay tuned and I'll see you around. If I can find the stop record button, don't tell me I haven't been recording. Okay, there it is. Woo! A little hidden on the side. Got it. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.